Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to my new Let's Play of Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo. Definitely, without a doubt, one of my favorite Mega Man games. I think Mega Man 2 is a little bit higher. But that's maybe just because it was the first one I ever played. In oh, this title screen. Title screen music. Oh, X. Yeah. So let's just, let's just start. Let's just, no. There's no going back. This is Mega Man X, one of the best games ever made. And it starts out with one of the most memorable in my opinion, memorable first levels. It's not really a first level, it's more like, eh, what would you call it? An intro stage, and whoa, got hit by the first enemy. That is not a good sign for things to come. I'm honestly very curious if I can commentate and play this game. I'm pretty decent at it, not as much as other Mega Man games, but you never know. Let's play Curse and All. Alright, let's take down these dudes and pick up energy. Ugh. Now, one thing I definitely like about Mega Man X is just the atmosphere. In regular Mega Man games, you know, on the NES, they didn't have a lot to work with, so sometimes you're just running along, like, I don't know, just boxes. It was really weird. But this is like a city. This is like a highway. There's all this stuff going on. All these robots terrorizing these people, apparently, because they're running away in those cars. Actually, how can you run away in a car? Drive away in a car. Yeah, that makes more sense. Not to mention, ugh, giant bees. You got a little giant bee helicopter. <laughs> you know, honestly, like... Capcom's really looking back on this game, it's like, why did we make a bee helicopter? That's just so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not knocking it, it's a pretty cool design, really. It's pretty abstract, I guess. In the future, bees no longer exist, so they're kind of like dinosaurs, and, you know, I, I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Like, they think, oh man, and when bees were around, I bet they're like the top predators. You know, how we think, like, you know, certain dinosaurs are like all awesome and stuff. You know, I've always thought about that. What if what if T-Rexes were just, like, the small ones, but we don't have any bones of, like, the really, really big ones? You know, like, the bones of really big dinosaurs or, like, mountains and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I was rambling on. And that makes zero sense, but I don't care. This is Mega Man X, and you don't even have to talk about the game to make it a Let's Play. You can just... Oh, crap, I'm gonna die here. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you almost had me. But you actually didn't, because it was not even close. All right. <laughs> it's honestly kind of embarrassing. I've I don't think I've ever almost died on this part, except for here. Yeah. One thing I like about this game too, it's pretty easy. Don't be like, oh, this guy's so pro. The Mega Man series, not the hardest in the world. It just requires a little bit of memorizing, and you know, sometimes you get lucky with one-ups and stuff like that. And it's also one of the most rewarding to play, because when you finally beat a really tough boss or Mo robot Maverick or Master. It's like, yes, I did that. I didn't need the game's help. Oh, I did it. I'm gonna get this little bit of energy. You know, it's probably unnecessary and it's not gonna help me out for this next section. Where are you? Kinda can't win. And I kinda spoiled it. But I don't care! As you've probably all played Mega Man X, let's just face it. It's a pretty well known game by today's standards. And oh my gosh, cars! <laughs> Take them down. Oh, what? You want another one? Okay, I don't have any insurance, but I'll keep destroying yours. And that's weird. It usually spawns three cars. I guess it was two this time. Who the heck is this guy? He's got a cannon on his shoulder. Well, I got a cannon on my arm. I guess that's kind of similar. Dude, chill out. Dude, chill out. <laughs> you gotta, it's kind of funny, but no, you cannot win this boss fight against Vile since he's so vital. Vile. He's purple. He's got a gun. And a robot suit and just keeps punching me. You actually die if you're not careful, but you probably shouldn't. I'll just do this and... Then you can't move, because you've been defeated. Ah, uh, No. Oh, crap, he's grabbing me. Uh, you worthless piece of scrap metal, did you think you're hot? So fight my... Well, yeah, I did. So that's why I kind of started fighting you. Yeah. But dang, holy crap, the music changed. It's awesome. Who's this guy? He just tore off Vile's arm with this... Oh, look at that thing. His, his buster shots are blue. Mine are green, that's cool. Aw, oh, I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. Sigh. Ugh, X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Oh, remember, you have not reached full power yet. Zero is my favorite character ever. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. You should either become as powerful as I am. Cause I'm zero. I'll scout ahead and collect as much intel on Sigma's fortress as I can. Uh, I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. 
And that is why Zero is the best character in the game. Because he's like, dude, you may suck now, but man, give it 90 days and P90X will change your life forever. Okay. I had to drink because that voice killed my voice. <laughs> and yes, these are the robot mavericks. Ugh. They may look highly retarded. And I'll give you that. They're all based off animals and look really silly. But they are no pushovers by any stretch of the imagination. And there's a lot of orders you can do this in. I personally like doing Chill Penguin first, because it's kind of a pushover in a lot of ways. Then again, I guess you could do Flame Mammoth, since he's really like... I think he has like some of the worst AI, but... No, this is the way I learned Mega Man X, if you will. You know, I just looked up how to beat Mega Man X as quickly as possible on the internet. And that's how I learned it, by doing this path, since you get really... You can really get the best upgrades the quickest, so that's what I like to do, and there's these guys. I mean, what you laughing at? You just got shot in the head with a back, whatever, and I'm dying. And that ain't good, because usually I can do these stages without even taking a hit, but I guess I'm not con um, concentrating comments, eh? That's kind of funny two words or whatever. And I really, I, this irritates me when I'm watching Mega Man Let's Plays, but people hold the charge forever. But it's like, you kinda got to. I kinda, I know it's really annoying to hear constantly. It's like, these stupid bats are so stinking annoying. But you know, you kinda gotta do it, cause that's how you play Mega Man. And oh my gosh, can we get the stinking upgrade already? Ugh. <laughs> For you who don't know, this game has a dash. And it's like, till you get the dash, this game's like so slow. Once you get the dash, it's like, the fastest game ever. And here it is, a Dr. Light Capsule. Ah, oh, crap, I gotta do this for you. So you come, I see it. X, I give you the ability to choose your path and life and all that. Mm. And I hoped the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But since that's a boring video game, it seems that you, you're destined to fight after all. <laughs> because I thought the world might need a new champion. <laughs> I have hidden a capsule like this one. Right in front of you. If you find and use them, you can... This part makes no sense. He says, upgrade your abilities. Why won't you just have the capsules somewhere where X can reach them? Yeah, uh, whatever. Stay in this capsule, right? And, uh, receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, X. I'm, I'm Santa Claus. Kind of looks like Santa Claus. And by far the best upgrade ever to Mega Man games. Wait for it. New shoes. Oh, what do these new shoes do? Uh, you can dash, and yes. See, I, I put it to the L button on the Super Nintendo controller. You can do it with A, but I hate doing it with A, since it's really, really annoying. And yes, with this... Oh my gosh, I almost died. With this, you can actually dash, charge, or whatever you want to call it, and your buster, sh your buster shots will do, like, extra damage. It's pretty it's pretty handy, honestly. The uh, jump has a lot of... <laughs> it's a very versatile upgrade. That's why I always get it first, since it does a lot of things. And the second one we'll be getting is probably the best upgrade in the game. And hey, armor mech suit. Urgh. You can punch things. And we miss an upgrade, but you can't get it very quickly using this path. So whatever. Oh, man, oh, the armor suit. Get get out of here, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push. <laughs> he died forever. And yeah, the boost. So good, so good. And also there's an upgrade. But like I said, can't get it yet, so shut up about it, Jonathan. Nobody cares about your stupid life plays. You should have been an accountant. But, but I don't even Okay. <laughs> Mother's not even too much, whatever. Okay, so, there's these snowball dudes, and they're checking their snowballs. And hey, you got perfect amount of health. That's really good. And yeah, so now the first boss of Mega Man X. Will he destroy us? Will he employ us? Who the heck knows? This is the dumbest first episode ever, but oh my gosh, Chill Penguin, he's like looking right at you. Now, Chill Penguin, oh my gosh, look at this guy. Yeah, he's a little slow. <laughs> he's a little stupid. He's, he's, he ain't too smart. He ain't too smart. And see, what you can do is you can dash over here. Oh, it's so, he's so easy. Ah, oh, crap, but he does do a ton of damage if you hit him. And I'm in a really bad spot here. Okay. Just keep charging your shots and cling on the walls. And wow, I can't believe I missed a shot. It's a little silly on my part, and if he jumps up, which he won't, actually he might grab on that thing and make it snow, but if he does that, you can just land a buster shot on him before he does that. And I really hope he'll do that, since I can, you know, show you how to beat this wall, other than, yeah, here it comes. Eh, you know, just knock him right down, he'll get sent over there, uh, 
even one little lemon shot or whatever you want to call it will knock him off, so it doesn't have to be a fully charged blast. Alright, come on, dude, I ain't got all day. Wanna, I want to get to another Robot Master today, hopefully. We might do Stink Chameleon, I don't know. We're at 12 minutes. Eh, we'll squeeze it in just because I don't want to break <laughs> I don't want to do that whole thing I did when I started making Mega Man videos and just doing like one boss, one video because I'm an idiot. And people want to watch more than like two seconds of footage, John, you stupid duck from 2010. But anywho, we get the shotgun ice. Which is honestly a pretty good weapon. One thing about Mega Man X is you'll use your weapons, unlike other Mega Man games. Alright, so we beat Chill Penguin. We're heading over to Sting Chameleon next, and I need to find a coaster. Since my V8 fusion is making a mess, but yeah, Sting Chameleon. Pain in the butt, boss. Giant pain in the butt. And honestly, I may have some problems with him since I'm commentating this, and he requires a little bit of concentration, but heck, who knows? And yes, yeah, Sting Chameleon stage. It has these guys from Chill Penguin stage. I don't know why, honestly. But they're here. Watch out for this little guy. He's out in the woods. The wood, whatever. I don't really care. Okay, let's just chill. Let's just chill. Oh my gosh, I'm getting. I swear, I'm so good at Mega Man X, but it's like not showing. It's so hard to comment to. I didn't think that would happen. And no mind, we're getting boxed in. What the crud, dude? Well, there's a little boss right here. He, I call him Teeth. Cause look at him. He's got a little teeth and eyeballs. He has three eyeballs actually. Look. Okay. <laughs> This guy's honestly really easy if you can master the art of dash shooting. And I'm missing, like, every shot. Wow. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this boss, like, takes a lot of hits, but he's not hard at all. Like, he gives you so much time to react to his little fist thing. So stupid. Whoop. Almost got hit by it. Mm, mm, mm. Man, this game is so good. Oh, it's like one of those things. Like, it's like Donkey Kong 64. I can't, I can't describe to you why, my, why I love this game so much, but I just do. Oh, gosh. Can't believe I'm about to die on Sting Chameleon. This is a little stupid. It's because I'm trying to show off, like, because you'll, like, mess up once and be like, No, guys, I'm serious. I'm really good at Mega Man. Like, I swear. And you're, like, trying to overcompensate. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's whatever. Should probably be charging some shots. That's not bad. Usually the green ones hit him more than the, the Hadouken. Because that's, like, fully charged up, what it kind of looks like. Speaking of Hadoukens, no, we can't get that. Shut up, Billy. You can't get that yet. Oh my gosh, can this guy die? Can this guy die? Can this guy die? I want to beat Sting Chameleon stage, please, please. Uh, and alright, down he goes. Now, why do we do this? Why do we do this? Well, another Dr. White capsule. Whoa! Oh, this capsule contains a new type of body armor. Oh, it will reduce damage to you. Er, by 50%. Oh. Now, this is like the best upgrade to get early on. Because when he means 50%, he literally means 50%. Problem is, stuff in the later game kind of does more damage, so it kind of bounces out, honestly. So it's definitely a very necessary thing. Can I go, please? Okay, okay thanks. It is 100% necessary to get that item if you ask me, but hey, I'm just some idiot on the internet. These are rock guys. They like to block our path and stop any potential speedrunning. Actually, oh, you can just jump right over them. No, you can't, because you're being stupid. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have two health left. <laughs> See what I see what I said about overcompensation? It just it just never works. Okay, good, good, get him. Just shoot a random laser. Why the heck not? I would really like some health. These hummingbirds don't want to give me health, but they'll give me a life. That's actually better, even though there's the easiest one up in the universe to get right here. Um, where is it? Not oh, it's right here. Okay, almost done. <laughs> I am so I am so risky. My goodness, it's a little silly. And hey, armor, sweet. Let's get out of here. Now, when you're in the armor, you don't take damage. The um, the armor doesn't. Wow, that's insanely lucky. Can't believe that. I honestly know. Don't I actually don't know when the armor runs out of health, but he sure seems to have a lot of it. I don't, I don't care. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, 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 no, no. I can't stop him. Ah, ah. Oh crap. Just, just run. Just run. Oh gosh. He's gonna catch up. He's gonna catch up. Okay, we made it. And that is Sting Chameleon stage. But the problem about Sting. Chameleon stage is the actual Sting Chameleon. See, at this point in the game, you don't have Sting Chameleon's weakness, which is Boomer Granger's weapon. So this makes this makes this guy a little bit tough, but it is definitely worth it to get that armor upgrade as soon as you can. And uh, no, missed my first shot. Dang it! This guy requires a lot of concentration. Plus, there's spikes, and you can't—I swear—you cannot dodge these unless you're paying absolute attention. Dodge everyone! Heck yeah! 
Ugh! Okay, calm down a little bit. I know this is going to be a super long battle, because I'm not doing a lot of damage, but if you do this, then pretty much the rest of the Robot Mavericks are a piece of cake, and watch out, because spikes are still instant death in this game. Not the spikes that uh, Stink Chameleon's shooting out, just... Just the ones at the top of the roof. Okay, so I missed a buster shot there. Not too great on my part. Silly, silly John. You must land those buster shots. You are dumb. This, also, this boss reminds me a lot of... Uh, I don't, I don't know how many people have played it, but I love Beautiful Joe too, and it kind of reminds me of like this, the um, Camoleon, like boss fight, and I'm, I'm gonna die. All right, I'm a half health. All right, come on. Mm -hmm. uh, see, ah, that's where he gets you. It's like the most aggravating um, ah, uh, thing, gang. <laughs> Dang it! No, and then he's gonna hit me with this one. Um, yeah, he, he always hits you with that one. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Well, I knew I was going to mess up here, so I guess that's okay. Uh, uh. Maybe if you stand right under him. No, you can still get hit if you're right under him. Dang it, I have three health left, and he has like half. I don't know if we can win this, guys, but I'm sure going to try. I always try. Okay, so <laughs> you can only take two more hits. Two more hits, and he can take about like, I don't know, nine or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to commentate. Uh, this is probably... I'm really bad at... This boss, just because I don't know, I've never figured out a way to dodge his ceiling spike things. Okay, it's coming. It's getting pretty close, actually. We might be able to. Uh, okay, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Don't, get, don't get hit. Oh, sweet. Okay. Now it's time to not overcompensate. Just keep a level ahead here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. And you get hit by. Okay. 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 Okay, that was a really that was really bad, <laughs> but I'm leaving it in because this is um, a genuine Mega Man X. Let's play. I ain't doing no speed run, um, toll assisted runs. This is actually just me playing the game. Cause honestly, I haven't played it in a while, and I want to test my luck. And nope, instantly getting hit. That's not good. But we hit him, so that kind of balances out. Actually, it doesn't because he has way more health than us. Ah, oh, dang it, he's going too high. Okay, don't have to get hit. Don't not. That's not even a word. You're dumb. Stupid. Okay. So let's just try and keep a level head here. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. Okay, ah. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. See, what he'll do is, he'll just keep, like, going invisible. It's really hard to hit him when he's invisible. And then he'll just, like, force you against a wall. So it's kind of like, uh. Gosh dang it. He always hit me against the wall. Okay, got him. Got it. Got two fully charged buster shots. Three fully charged buster shots in the same, like, area of being camouflaged. Okay, get another one. I usually don't go for your second buster shot when he's doing his like little, I'm gonna sit in the air forever. And wow! That's, that's sweet. He's kind of, I guess he's kind of going easy on me. He's usually a lot tougher than this. Oh, dang it. Wow, how did I hit him? I already passed through him, but I'm not complaining. Whatever. Took an unnecessary hit, don't even care. Uh, hit him again. Let's charge up. Oh, sweet dude. <laughs> So this is what you want to happen. You don't want him to do his like whole little like um hitch to like 50 times like that. That's like that's like not even fair because they'll get so many attacks in. It's like such a pain. Okay, I'm taking way too much damage now. Stay on the side of the wall, maybe. Okay, good, good. Okay, so we just need I don't know how many pixels of health that is, but it can't be a lot more. Okay, just one fully charged Buster shot and we will beat Camelion. Right, come on, dude. Come on. And down he goes. That was actually my most feared moment of the entire game, believe it or not, being in Camo Leon without um, a lot of upgrades except for, you know, the armor, which is mainly why I came here. And all right, we have defeated, uh, well, Chill Penguin and Sting Chameleon. We also cleared the starting stage of the game, and Sting Chameleon's weapon, really good, and that's a password, I'm going to use that. For the next episode of Let's Play Mega Man X, I hope you guys really enjoy this game and enjoy this Let's Play of the game. In the next episode, we're taking on this jerk. I actually forgot his name. Let's check. Storm Eagle. Yeah. He's eight feet tall. That's pretty crazy. All right. See you then.